Hey everybody, welcome back. Now it doesn't matter if you're just starting your graphic design career or if you've been a designer for years, but you're gonna wanna hear this. I'm gonna explain to you in detail how you can make $100,000 or more a year as a graphic designer. Does that sound good? I thought so. So listen up. As a graphic designer, there are a lot of different specializations you have to choose from. Logo and brand identity, web design, UX UI, print design, event design, experience design, presentation design, motion design, the list goes on and on. But one specialization that's gained significant popularity in recent years is packaging design. And that's because it offers a wide range of opportunities for creativity, earning potential, professional fulfillment, and career security. Now, love it or hate it, packaging is everywhere. When you think about it, package design is a crucial element of product marketing. Companies have to draw attention to products when people walk down the aisle of a store or even when purchasing online. Packaging is key to that part of the sales process. Packaging can communicate quality or desirability, functionality, durability. It also has to convey a lot of important information like usage instructions and ingredients ingredients and features and benefits. And that's not even to mention what the product looks like inside the package. Now packaging also physically protects the things we purchase when they're in transit or until we get them home. All packaging has to be designed, both structurally, as in the box or the can or whatever form it takes, to the external design, the labeling, the graphics, illustration, photography, typography, color, materials, printing execution techniques. A talented packaging designer has always been in high demand, but now with the rise of e-commerce and the explosion of maker startups and micro brands, the demand for skilled packaging designers is only increasing. Okay, so what does a packaging designer actually do? Well, a packaging designer creates the visual elements of product packaging, including the design, the color scheme, the layout, the typography, imagery, etc. They usually work in-house in a marketing department of a company or in a design agency that specializes in packaging. The designer needs to understand who the package is meant for and speak to that consumer in a visual language that appeals to them. And that's really appropriate also for the category of products that that they're in. Now, for instance, the packaging design for, let's say, a $50 designer candle would be very different from a grocery store candle that costs $2.50. Now, packaging designers also have to really master something called communication hierarchy, and that is how humans process information. So you can communicate what you need to effectively in the designs that you do. And that's because the time that it takes for a consumer to encounter and then to consider the package before actually picking it up or deciding to purchase it is really, really short and sometimes actually just a couple seconds. So the work that the packaging has to do to communicate is really critical to the success or the failure of the product. Now I wanna take a quick break and thank Packadora.com for sponsoring this video. So if you're a packaging designer or thinking of becoming one, you have to check out Pactora. Pactora.com is an online packaging design tool that integrates editing, 3D preview, rendering, and exporting into one single web product. And all the work is done in your browser, so there aren't any app installs. You can generate custom die lines, 3D mockups, and actually even render videos right inside Pactora. It's got a drag and drop editor that has customizable materials and lighting and colors for thousands of 3D packaging models. And as one of my viewers, you're gonna get a 50% discount by using the coupon code Philip. 50. The link's in the description of the video. You got to use the link, but you also have to remember you still have to enter the code separately, Philip 50 So be sure to check out Pactoria. It's insanely cool. Okay, so here are five reasons why being a packaging designer is a smart move. Number one, creativity with a purpose. Packaging design is a professional art form that requires creative thinking, problem solving, and an eye for detail. There are always limitations that any designer has to work within when it comes to design. For instance, the size of the package, the amount of information you have to include. But packaging design still offers a lot of room for creativity. As a packaging designer, you'd be challenged creatively to make the packaging tell a story about the product that actually moves people to take action. 
You'll have the freedom to choose colors and design and graphics and photography and illustration to make sure that you make an emotional connection with the consumer. You'll also get the chance to experience designing for a range of different products on different package types like boxes and cans and bottles and labels and hang tags and wraps, as well as a ton of different printing techniques, each with their own strengths and limitations. A packaging career path allows you to express your creative side and at the same time make a tangible impact on how people experience the products that they bring into their lives. Now the second reason being a packaging designer is a smart career move is that it's an in-demand career. Packaging design is in really high demand in the market right now. Every product needs packaging and companies are always looking for skilled packaging designers to create them. With the rise of e-commerce and the move creating more sustainable packaging and the explosion of the sheer number of products for sale, the demand for packaging designers is only increasing. That means you'll have plenty of job opportunities to choose from, and you can work in a huge range of industries in packaging design. Food and beverage, cosmetic, pharma, technology, industrial products, home goods, fashion, and tons of others. Reason number three is excellent earning potential. The packaging of a product is really essential to the success of the product and companies are willing to pay for excellent design that does that job well. So packaging design is really a lucrative field with the potential to earn a higher salary than many other graphic design disciplines. According to Glassdoor, the average salary for a packaging designer is $68,000 a year with some making over $100,000 a year. And in my own personal experience working in packaging agencies, I've had senior packaging designers on staff making $180,000 a year or more. And remember, your earning potential will only increase as you gain experience and build a solid reputation. Now here's the not so secret secret about packaging design, and I want you to listen to this. In the world of design disciplines, packaging design isn't seen as the most sexiest in the world. It's often considered one of the more conservative design roles, but that doesn't mean that you can't do really cool work. And that's why salaries are higher in packaging than in some other design disciplines, because often not many people want to do it for some reason. I don't know why, but if you're good at it, you can make a really good living in packaging. Now, reason number four is professional fulfillment. Packaging design can be incredibly fulfilling. You get to work on projects that have a tangible impact on how people live their lives and how they interact with their product. Your design can help a brand attract its perfect customer and entice them to buy. And that's particularly fulfilling if you believe in the product that you're designing for. You also get the added buzz of getting to see your work on shelves across the country and across the world in real life. It doesn't always happen with purely digital design that exists entirely in cyberspace where your work can come and go without your actually being able to watch people interact with it. I have to say it's really cool to see your work out there in the real world. I never get tired of the feeling I get when I see my or my team's work on the shelf of a store. I mean, just the other day I was in PetSmart with my wife buying dog food and I got to say, hey, I did that package. Now, in all honesty, I think my dog was ultimately more impressed than my wife though. Now, reason number five is it's a stable and sustainable discipline of design. Everyone is, or should be, concerned with career stability and sustainability in today's fast-moving economy. In the packaging industry, you're dealing with a physical product in the physical world. And one thing is for certain, people will always need stuff. They need food, they need clothes, they need hardware, they need health and beauty aids, they need medicine to live their lives. And so the need for packaging will always be there. It's the one design discipline that I can confidently say will never really change much. So if you're looking for a design path for your career that has a good chance of weathering the next financial downturn or banking crisis, packaging is probably it. In fact, during COVID, the people I knew who worked at packaging agencies were busier than ever. And the tighter the market gets, the more companies actually fight their competition and the more frequently they tend to update their package designs. And if you're a packaging designer, that's good for you. Now, if you need help figuring out your next move in your career, whether that's getting into the packaging design industry or something else, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for creative professionals where you can get personalized attention from me. We'll work on clarifying your goals and a plan of attack to get you where you want to go faster with less decision-making anxiety, which is always great. So go to philipvandusen.com slash one-on-one and schedule a session today. The link is also in the description. So until next time, 
Bye for now.